And now to South Sudan, where the capital Juba is preparing for the return of former rebel leader Riek Masha. He fled the city in December 2013 as the country spiraled into a bloody civil war. Masha is due to return on Monday as part of a regionally brokered peace deal in which he'll join a unity government led by his arch-rival President Salva Kiir. Our spokesman for Masha says he's already back in the country at rebel military headquarters in the eastern town of Pagak. His troops have been brought into Juba to help with security, but tensions are high. With continued accusations from both sides about ceasefire violations, Masha will be taking up the position of vice president. Let's bring you an update on that story. I'm joined live from Juba by CCTV's Robert Nagila. Robert, uh, just firstly, give us an idea of what is happening in Juba with regards to preparations in the city to receive uh, uh, Riek Masha. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Lindy. Now, in terms of preparations, we've been driving around the city of Juba, the capital of South Sudan, all day. Uh, we've not seen any major uh, preparations in terms of banners, uh, welcoming messages up and down. It does appear that authorities here uh, wanted to be low key. Remember that he is returning after a two year conflict in which thousands uh, lost their lives and millions have been displaced as well. So it does appear that um, this is going to be more of a low key uh, entry into Juba. Uh, I believe that we may see a bit of that celebration mood on Monday when uh, Rek Mashar does arrive here in Juba. Rather surprising that it will be a low-key uh, sort of entry back into Juba for Rek Mashar, considering that this return has been delayed on several occasions. Just tell us more about that, uh, Robert. Well, absolutely. I mean... Um, he was supposed to have come on two previous uh, occasions. It had been confirmed. Then at the last minute, it was cancelled again. Now, part of the reason for that was uh, the war fears for his security. Now, we do know that uh, before his arrival, there was a, an advance guard, so to speak, that had arrived here. That was his advanced security team. Uh, we also do understand that uh, once he is in the country, there will be an integrated security team, uh, not just around him, but providing security as well for some of the VIPs on his side. Um, so it does appear that the mere the very fact that he is coming tomorrow, uh, that uh, those fears have been met and uh, that um, all his uh, fear, or rather all the fears that he had previously have been answered. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But um, from everyone we're speaking to, both within government sources, his side as well, and uh, the United Nations, they say that they do believe that he will be here tomorrow. And what is the itinerary uh, regarding his arrival tomorrow? Um, well, we do have an itinerary of sorts. Um, it may change tomorrow for a number of reasons. I'll get into that in a short moment. But we do believe that he's due to arrive here in Juba uh, between 11.30 and 1 o'clock local time. Now, after his arrival, he will then, uh, we believe, head to State House Juba to be sworn in as the vice president of this country. Immediately after that, we are made to understand that he will then proceed to... Uh, the, uh, the memorial of uh, John Garang, uh, the former leader of the SPLM, where he will pay his respects. And after that, he will then proceed uh, home to his residence. Uh, that's what, that's the schedule that we have at this particular moment, but it's subject to change. Uh, remember that uh, at this particular moment, uh, the rainy season has just come in, so it's raining very heavily in the afternoon. Whether that may affect that schedule, we still do not know at the moment, but that's the itinerary that we have of his arrival and what he intends to do immediately after he's been sworn in. Oh, thanks very much, Robert Nagila, live for us there in Juba. We will, of course, uh, touch base with him uh, over the course of tomorrow as Rick Mashar makes his return to South Sudan.